previously in the segment that was recorded not that long ago. Curse you, Pigma. Why'd you run to such a vile place? This colony's supposed to be a hideout is this, uh, for all is this like the criminals? hideout for all scum and villainy, etc. Like, I don't even remember the line. I'm not going to hey, pretend well, to make the joke. Also, this guy's posing this like Team Star Skull, Fox so he's immediately good. We're here for a hog named Pigma. We don't want trouble. We don't know about no Pigma or any other fool. And we never heard of no mayor. Come on, you lazy scum. Let's skin this fox and his whole crew. Get more guys up here. Come on. Hey, is it necessary that everybody has a robotic voice? He says it might contain the location of the Aperoid homeworld. We've got to get it back, no matter what. Gateway initiation detected. Enemy force increasing. Even if we pound them, this is going to become a war of attrition. I knew something about those transfer gateways. Transfer gateways, okay. okay. Slippy and I will wipe out the transfer gateways to hideout. <laughs> Let's bring Slippy with. Understood. Falco and Crystal, deal with those battleships outside. All right, leave space to us. Be careful, Fox. Ah, uh, you too, Crystal. They've got such a great relationship going on. Man, so, so in-depth. No, okay, I'll shut up. <clears throat> Transfer gateways. All right. In other words, wander around and shoot the things that are f flashing and say target. I, uh, I remember this level being fairly obnoxious. Let's see if I can, uh, get through this one without too much pain. This is Fox. I've made it inside. How are things on your end, Slippy? And crashes into a wall. Okay. No. Let's get okay. this operation started. Well, you mean Slippy actually did something right? Falco, look. There, a battleship. And here we go. Oh, hey, it's this song. This is the. Is this the Meteo song? Like, I definitely recognize it. I just. I never remember what song is from what stage. No, I think this was uh, Sector Y. Or something. I don't know. Also, I didn't hear any of that, so let's just gun down a bunch of people. Because they're here, and I want to. So, anyway, um. When I was doing my uh, very small bit of look up for this game, I think I read that there were ten levels. The last one, I did two of them in one segment. Assuming this one's going to be a bit longer because I remember this level being really goddamn annoying, um, I might actually just stop after this one level. I guess we'll see how much time has passed. Okay, so I could probably use a gun that isn't the blaster. Yeah, why well, couldn't I bring my blaster? You know, like in Super Smash Bros. Okay, well, here's something. Was that? Yeah, machine gun. I'll, I'll take it. So, I think throughout this whole level, we're going to get a running commentary from uh, Falco and Crystal every time they successfully take down a ship. So, that's always a uh, worthwhile contribution. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot. Isn't this the level where Slippy is just standing there doing nothing? I, th I, th I seem to remember that being the case. I'll have to find where he is. I think he's like over on a ramp somewhere, just literally standing there until I get nearby. You can use a sniper rifle to pick off foes at a distance. I could do that. So yeah, let's find out. Yeah, Slippy's up there. Let's see what he's doing. I like these things, they're very useless. Says Oh no, he he is actually shooting Oh man, that face. Enemy ship down. Oh my god, that face. Slippy, you wanna like 
You want to come with me and provide backup? No, you good? You good up here? Okay, it's fine. Everything's swell on this end. Yeah, because you're not fucking doing anything. <laughs> and because I came over here and killed the one guy that was fighting you. You can use a sniper rifle to pick off foes at a distance. Okay, well, I guess I probably want to go up where he is. Now there's something over here. Let's do that. So why did Slippy come inside? That that's gonna be the uh, the true mystery of the ages for this for this stage, I think. Can I get rid of that box? No. I just don't really need to. Can we actually get a charge shot going? Transfer device down. That's it, Fox. Only a few transfer devices from the I mean, w with your use of the word few, what does that really mean? Like, I don't know why you even bother to tell me these things. I'm sorry, I, I might be picking on this game a little bit, but it it's all in good fun. Honestly, it's not even that bad. I just like making fun just of it. A new enemy battleship. I'm the same way I make fun of Star Fox 64, because 90% of the dialogue in that game is completely stupid also. <laughs> Remember that part in Star Fox 64 where you had to jump over barrels? I'm so glad they brought that part back. Enemy ship down. Yeah! Okay, so, um, notice the meter in the top left. The That's a, uh, he says as it actually kills it. Oh, no, not Ruffian. He was my favorite character. But no, um, that meter up there is something I have to actually keep an eye on, because, uh, if that gets too high, then, like, something bad happens. I don't remember what that is. But, uh... Every once in a while, I have to kind of just leave and get in the ship. Yeah, here we go. We're being overrun here. Blast the space fighters. So now we get to stop what we're doing and go outside and help the two people that are already supposed to be doing that job. At least Slippy will cover us from the inside and maybe take out a couple. Oh yeah, I forgot. Got it. Slippy. Okay, so I don't remember if it's just generic ships that I'm taking out, or if it's these big things. Are we hitting it? Okay. So yeah, it brings the meter down a bit. I forget what their purpose here is. Like, I think they're just generally causing a ruckus. Luckily, I have a radar, because the uh, draw distance here is not great. I cannot tell where stuff is. Oddly enough, I don't remember draw distance being an issue in, in 64. You'd think it would be. And maybe it was, and I'm just blinded by nostalgia goggles. I don't remember it being a problem, though. Try a somersault! All right, so let's probably want to get this uh, meter all the way down so that I'll actually have time to go inside and figure out what it is I'm doing. Because Lord knows uh, Falco and Crystal aren't going to take care of anything out here. You've improved your skills, Fox. I mean, I'm kind of having to do everything here, so yeah. That was close. Oh, what was? What, what happened? Nothing happened. Gotta hold L to turn right fast. That makes sense. Okay, so. That's pretty much all the way depleted. There's a few random enemies hanging around, but I don't think they're causing too much of a problem. I 
guess there's one just like attached to that asteroid. Okay, let's find the entry point to this because uh, time to go back and make fun of Slippy just standing there. He sure is still just standing there. Enemy ship down. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's moved. Yo. Yo, buddy. I'm doing fine. Check out the space. <laughs> yeah, I know you're doing fine. <laughs> I noticed. Oh my god. That is amazing. Why did they even put him in here? I don't think there's fall damage in this, which is good to know. Don't forget to sidestep when you need to. In other words, dodge. And Looks like the other devices are in a higher area. There must be an elevator. Find it. Slippy, do you want to find it? Maybe you can let me know when you do. Use careful timing when hurling grenades. I've not seen a need for the grenades so far. I don't know, they're probably useful in some in some situations. Honestly, I've just been fine with the blaster for most of the stuff that I'm doing. The machine gun is useful though. Okay, so I guess this is the elevator. Because when I think elevator, I think big glowing yellow thing. Let them have it, boys. Immediately all dead. So this is Lawn care. Look out for enemy ambushes. You're not doing too well, are you, Fox? I I'm actually doing okay, thank you. Don't forget to sidestep when you need to. Machine guns not working on I've got nothing. What, when you're dead? What was that supposed to mean? The things get dicey. Use a barrier. Who are these guys? We are Star Fox. Who are these guys? <laughs> we are Star Fox. Okay, I'll stop. You can use a sniper rifle to pick off foes at a distance. God. Was the repeating this bad? Like, in the other game? I mean, I know it was. Because you have Fox, get this guy off me! And just various crap like that. But I feel like this is even worse. Why does there always have to be loud-ass machinery outside? You know what, let's actually go for the grenade. Is that gonna work? Did it even explode? I can't honestly tell. Screw the grenade, it's not doing it freaking anything. Uh, okay, I didn't actually mean to use the sniper, but... And once again, the blaster proves to be the only useful weapon. Okay. I've never really done anything with the multiplayer in this, except for that one time when I may have played it, and I don't even remember if I did. So, I can't say how good the other weapons actually are in that kind of situation, because they sound like they would be useful. So far, it's been pretty much just the blaster, though. What are you idiots up to now? Well, here's everyone's favorite group. That new wolf? You're on my turf now. Watch your step, Fox. <laughs> I think I'll torment you a bit before I cook you. That's a totally different voice from before. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Panther, and all who see my rose need death. <laughs> <laughs> We're just here for Pigma. Oh okay? my god, Check I love your traps Panther. and hand him over. Pigma? Don't know anything about Pigma. Panther is the best freaking character. One thing. Because he ends all of his sentences with an unnecessary noise. An apology, and and I will have it. That's the only thing I remember about him. 
Because when I first played this game, when we rented, when I rented it, it was with, uh, I went through it with Harrison. Um, I don't remember if we switched off or if I was just playing the whole thing and he watched it, but we, we quickly determined that Panther was the stupidest freaking character, and every time he showed up, we would not stop laughing, because he's always like, I am Panther, and you will meet your death. <laughs> Or some, like, just some weird growling noise that he makes, and I don't know why. I, I just, I want to hear him talk more, b to see if he keeps doing it. Immediately go for Panther. Okay, fine. Oh, I couldn't even tell, because draw distance. You're good. You're fine. Nice work, Fox. You're pretty good in the pinch. Stupid bird, I'm the great Leon. Who do you think I am? You're one of the very few non-mammalian characters. That's why you're going after Falco. Because you are uh, you are a rare breed. I do like the uh, weird, like, Spanish guitar remix of the Star Wolf theme here. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna mess with you. Cause... So far, he's had two lines. Don't mess with me, Fox. And... Come on, Panther, say something. I mean, I'm having a hard time locking on to you guys, so it's th that's partially why. That, and I'm so trained from uh, Venom 2 that, like, not use charge shots against them that I feel that it's weird to do that here. What do you think I am? Do they even have health bars? I can't tell. Like, there's so much random riffraff in the, uh, dialogue box that I can't see if that's actually... Oh, no, they have very obvious health bars next to their ship. Never mind. I'm just a moron. But I guess only when you're close. Ah, eh, whatever. Still have not heard Panther say another word. That's the end of it. What do you think I am? <laughs> Does somersault, crashes into thing anyway. Is Slippy still standing in there? I think he is. Oh my god, Slippy. You make the jokes way too easy. I mean... I can't make any specific jokes about it. It's just... It's just kind of comedy gold. Alright. That, that was not really the... Death cry I was expecting there. Enemy ship down. I also still am not sure how I like destroy these guys' as ships out in like open space and they explode and then they come back. Sorry, Fox. I'm not too proud of what you just witnessed. Oh, it's certainly not the first time. Can we actually hit Wolf? Can there it goes. All right, Panther, say something stupid. Come on. That's all I've been waiting for this whole time. Make me mad and your life is gone. Oh, he didn't grumble at the end of it. Come on, I know I know you grumble at the end of most of your lines. I, I can't be remembering that wrong. Wow, you're kind of an asshole, aren't you? Make me mad. Yeah, I heard that one already. Hey, Puke Skywalker, use the Force. Can I even hit him once? And there's three. Can we go for the triple cock? 
this be? I've, I've been nice going. No, nope, no grumbling. Okay. Well, he'll show up again later, I'm sure. Nope, that was just his only only appearance in the whole game. Come on, Wolf. Enough of this. Just hand over Pigma already. Pigma's no longer part of Star Wolf. And if he'd shown his filthy hide here, my men would have driven him out. But then where did Pigma go? Pigma. Ah, the lovely crystal. Words do you no justice. I am Panther Caruso. Here's to us. Oh. <laughs> oh? Who's this idiot? Quiet bird. What was that? Forget him. Look, just tell us where Pigma is. He didn't even insult you. He How just called I you a bird. This beauty. I believe the calm record will point you toward Vichina. You talk too much. Panther, Leon, let's go. Remember this, Fox. Star Wolf will take you down one day. But not this day, Leaves. <laughs> oh, Panther, you are the best part of this game. Either that or Slippy just standing there. All ships are home. That was some reunion, huh? I sure am just not getting the badges anymore. All right, well, let me quickly check how long this video has been. 21 minutes, I guess we'll keep it going. So, to recap, we've had a flight stage, a landmaster slash on foot stage, and now an on foot slash occasionally get out and shoot stuff stage. Um, are we going to have another on foot stage? Is that what we're about to have? We have arrived at Vichina. Vichina. This is where we lost track of Pigma. Vichina, huh? Just that wasn't great. a level from There's the first game. Snow and ice. Uh huh. But after they built the climate control center, the planet became inhabitable. This is a crisis, team. Unlike Utah. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. Well, looks like it's been out of order for quite a while. If this blizzard keeps up, the planet will once again become barren. I wonder if this is Pigma's world. Could he be laying a trap? Oh, we can't fly our R wings in this weather. We have no choice. I'll go down and get the. I thought these babies could take temperatures up to nine thousand degrees. To to what they can't center. go below we'll zero. Okay. Playing the hero again, huh, Foxy? Hey, more power to you, buddy. Me? I hate the cold. <laughs> it makes me hibernate. It's up to you, Fox. Get some freaking internal heating or something, like, my god. I don't know. So yeah, I said this, okay. Okay, Landmaster and... Can we have another flight stage? Why? Why is this game like this? Rob, this is not what center. people like Star Fox 64 The climate control for. center is protected like, by a shield... Hmm. All right. So to get in, we have to turn that shield off first. Yeah, I guess you're right. No time for subtlety. I'm gonna have to blow up the generators. Don't go overboard, Fox. It's under control. Then get going and do it. We're just spinning our wheels here. Careful what you wish for, Falco. What was he wishing for? Alright, well, I'll take the Landmaster, I guess. It's better than wandering around naked, so... Oh, good. Is this the power supply, or is this the shield generator? No, I guess, okay. So, at this point, I have given up any attempt at, give, like, caring about the uh, metals or anything like that because I don't know what requirements they have and I, as far as I can tell nothing in the game tells you so, you much, so steady your radar there like whatever smart. I'm just gonna kind of speed through this as much as I can because I really don't want to keep doing landmaster levels for the end of eternity for the end of eternity that's yeah, clearly what I meant to say just get rid of that blizzard, will you? Are we hitting it? Okay. Yeah. 
So tell me again why they can't fly in this weather. I feel like they've done worse than this. Like, I don't know, freaking skim across the surface of, like, the freaking sun. I would, but I can't get up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I realize that my constant bitching about the Landmaster and on foot stages is getting old really quickly, and I don't mean to keep doing it. It just, it kind of baffles me how they got that so wrong, though. Like, There's only one more to go. Keep it, it really is just kind of disappointing how they did so well in the early installment, and then they just really have not been able to match it. But again, I've not played Command. I don't know how that one works. I know that that one's... Or at least I assume that that one is mostly, like, flight levels. That would make sense. Um... And Zero, Zero I don't know enough about to say. I know that everybody hates the controls of that game, but uh, I couldn't say much about the actual mission variety. Can we get rid of these fucking things? Here, I'm going to use a bomb for the first time in the entire... No, I can't use a bomb. Never mind. So what do I have six of? Isn't that six bombs, or is that six lives? How the hell do you kill these? I'd like to take out the frickin' generator thing, but I can't because of these assholes. Okay, there goes one of them at least. This is absurd. Like, I know it has a head, and that's the weak point, but it's hard to hit it because of the way it moves. There we go. Okay, can we clear out all this random riffraff now? This is taking too long. Yeah, it is, <laughs> actually. Only thing we can do. Because none of us know how to pilot a landmaster. Or we only have one or something. Even though we can keep calling an infinite supply of them. Put freaking Slippy in one of them. Then again, he'd probably just sit in place and not do anything, so maybe not. just random pile of garbage. This is a good design for a level. Let's just put a giant field with a bunch of snow and trees and ridges and just stick like 30 enemies in a row in this one area that you'll probably not go to. Okay, so where am I going? Oh, we're going into a cutscene. That's what we're doing. should be it. Is that a planet? That seems like a very close planet. What's wrong, Fox? Unless we're on like a moon or something. I don't know. Quit yelling, Falco. I'm fine. Just a little hitch in the plan. He gets very. There must have been an ID problem. Like the I don't even know what this is. That must have been like he he sounds like an action hero all of a sudden. Hold on. Yeah. Could you hurry? So I remember this part because it takes Falco an absurd length of time to get here. And I'm pretty sure he draws attention to it. So what am I supposed to do? I'm on my way. Do what you have to do and hold on. Can I even damage this? 
These giant intruders. They can't sense me. Intruder alert. What's going on here? What's he saying? Oh, they. Okay. So I'll just run around. Come on, let's go and run around, run around. What a beautiful morning. Excitement. Okay, are they damaged? Can I damage them when they do that? Like, yeah, there we go. So I guess I want to lead them into doing an attack and then, yeah. Boy, I am sure taking a while. Those sentry bots attack. I, I, I swear he says something like that. When am I gonna get to that yeah. control center? <laughs> I love that. Man, I can't believe how long I'm taking. Wait for the armor to open, Fox. If the sentry bots mark you as an intruder, look out. They'll just keep coming till you're neutralized. Roger, roger. Survival is priority number one. <laughs> Fox, it's dangerous to stay in one place. Too. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to move. You want to give me some advice, like dodge? Where is Falco? He was so useless and stuff, and then they just kind of... Uh, I don't even know where I was going with that song. I gave up. Where are you, Falco? Falco, hurry the fuck up. Well, you're never gonna get here, so I mean. <laughs> Ugh. Do you think there's enough of these? Is he gonna show up? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Good job. That was a flashy entrance. Quit complaining and climb aboard, will you? All right. <clears throat> oh, I remember hey, this part being kind of cool. Try not to fall off. Hey, just worry about All right, so I'm going to fly around at like 50% uh, light speed here, so just to kind of hold on and make sure you don't fall, Fox. Take care of our admirers, will you? And yes, I know he's not actually going fast at all, but still, I'm riding on top of a goddamn spaceship. Looks like the scum are making house calls, Fox. Fox, use the plasma cannon. A am I not doing that? I is this not the plasma cannon? I I'm pretty sure it was the plasma cannon. Someone on the ground's locked onto us. So. I'm not sure of the practicality of this section, because, like. I think we've established at this point that these uh, these ships do, in fact, have the ability to shoot lasers. So I'm not really sure why I need to be standing on the wing. But, I don't know. Oh, go, oh boy, Slippy's here. It's a sad state of affairs when I actually trust in Crystal more than Slippy. I didn't used to hate Slippy this much. But he, he makes it hard not to. Man, when am I gonna get to Okay, I'll shut up. Someone on the ground's locked onto us. Also, I fully realize that I can't do that accent worth shit, but whatever. Relying on the guy standing on the wing of the ship to save you. Well, that was kind of a thrill. This is no joke, Slippy. <laughs> Thanks, Fox. Oh, Lord. So how long does this section go on? Longer than necessary is my guess. What, what are we even doing? Someone on the ground's got a beat on me. 
like, I, I'm sure they explained what I'm trying to do, and I just, I don't remember what the point of this is, and why it requires this specific setup. Like, I know that earlier on, <clears throat> allegedly we couldn't fly in the snow, but now obviously we can, so just why? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Oh, right, I should probably be shooting that thing. Objectives are usually good. Um, Fox, these guys are all over me. Get rid of them. So, yeah, it's still going. <laughs> I've got nothing to add to this. I I've I've pointed out the ridiculousness of the situation and the fact that it's at least somewhat cool on paper. And now it's just kind of gone on for longer than needed. So, like, yeah. Up, oh, well, the Aurora disappeared, and we're done. Okay. Fox, those bots seem suspicious, so I checked them out, and they were aperoids. Are you sure? Yeah. They kind of look the Apoids same. Must be able to take over other machines. Are you serious? That is true. <laughs> and the one who's pulling their strings is me, Pigma. <laughs> Pigma. Look at that, little big fella. What the? That's part of the engineering, isn't it? What? It's been infected by the aperoids. You dirty swan. <laughs> It's part of the engineering, isn't it? What does it even mean? I like how animated Pigma's voice is compared to his character portrait. Without the climate control center, we'll never stop the blizzards again. Got it. Got it. Is this a landmaster fight? Oh, oh my god, I actually get to pilot my ship. Did you say the climate control center's overloading? Does that mean there's gonna be an explosion? Yikes! If you don't destroy the targets, this planet is doomed. You've got to destroy them. No, not this planet. It's so useful. The hatches are open. Oh god. <clears throat> Watch out! It's our, our... Fox, look out! Um, look out for what? Oh, that. Okay. Ah, I'm good. It's not holding anything back. Can these things freaking leave me alone? Like, oh, I can't break. So I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to like shoot inside it when it's firing the big laser or something. You've got to utilize your <clears throat> Maybe. I can't really tell. Wait, I thought I couldn't use the bricks. Why am I able to use them now? The, the tree's a huge the look. The hatches are open. Okay, that works. Husky unit, cover the base. So where's Bill during all this? That's where I that's what I need to know. Because he was a super important character in the mythos. Mythos. I, not, not exactly the word I meant to use there, but... I've gotta say, this uh, control here is not... I mean, I kind of did. Yeah, you rammed into it, Fox. And you only have three minutes left. I do like the logic of it won't open until you defeat enough enemies. Which, I mean, I guess kind of makes sense if it's opening to shoot more out, but... Oh, there it goes. That was, uh... That was definitely a boss fight.
So that thing was going to destroy the entire planet, huh? This is Fox. The climate control center generator is undamaged. Looks like all the aparoids are gone, too. Nicely done, Fox. Still, getting attacked by your allies? Man, that's just crazy. Machines are machines, after all. Those without strong wills can be easily turned to evil. Those without strong wills. Allies are enemies. Let's focus on this point here. What is it, Fox? Nothing. That sounds like someone I know, that's all. I just stare at this aurora that's like three feet from me. Was I just talking to my sleep? No, I won't turn a profit by obeying them. I, I, I... Best character. Well, after after Panther. <clears throat> Whether or not I like a character pretty much just depends on how ridiculous they are. Home safely. The climate control center still working. Nice job. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of that one. And what's going to be up next time? I don't remember. Probably more landmasters.